This morning, we have an inside look at how digital warriors inside Ukraine and beyond are fighting Russia's economy and working to starve Russia's resources. They've been very effective. More than 400 companies have stopped doing business in Russia since its troops invaded Ukraine nearly a month ago. And Ukrainian leaders are now also pressing major tech companies to block services in Russia and to create a so-called digital blockade. Apple, Google and Microsoft have already done that. Joining us now from inside Ukraine is that country's deputy minister of digital transformation, Alex Bornyakov. Uh, Mr. Deputy Minister, good morning to you. Before we get to what many people are calling a new way of war, uh, I want to ask about you personally. We're not saying where you are for your own safety. What is your life like these days? How are you sleeping? Uh, just tell us about the conditions you're living through right now. Well, hi everyone. So yeah, it, when it all started, I was in Kiev and I was, I woke up from explosions. It was like 6 a.m. and I spent two days in Kiev and it was horrible. It was uh, airstrikes, uh, explosions, uh, jets are f uh, flying, um, and we managed to ev evacuate because it was impossible to work. But we had to restore the work of the ministry in order to deliver services to people and do what we do right now, what you call digital blockade, and we call this digital diplomacy. Um, I'm, I'm still in Ukraine um, and uh, pretty much far of their actual war zone, but still, even where I am, there are sirens and, um, and the threat of airstrikes still. So from time to time, we have to go to shelter. Um, but so far, I'm good. Are you concerned about being personally targeted because of what you're doing? Um, well, of course, and uh, today's night, um, uh, my Telegram account was, uh, was, there was, there were, there was, a, um, uh, co co uh, people who wanted to compromise my account. And I think that's, that's what they're trying to do in the first mm -hmm. place to figure out where we are and, uh, and, and what we're talking about and what our plans yes. are. So, Mr. Deputy Minister, uh, about that new method of war, it's kind of, you call it diplomacy, other people call it a kind of digital warfare. Uh, you're using a mix of social media pressure campaigns uh, and digital currency, cryptocurrency, to create pressure on companies to get out of Russia, create this blockade, and also bring in funds. Uh, tell us about this digital future when it comes to warfare. How is it working? How'd you come up with it, the whole story? Well, uh, it started... Uh all from from the that from the fact that we realized that we can't stop this uh, Russian war machine uh, because it's it's so much it's it's so big it's so it's, it's so many troops, so we decided to fight on the economic and the digital front because we believe that uh, if we stop uh, taxpayers paying. Uh, money to government, which which they spend not to develop their infrastructure, not to build schools, not to build hospitals, not to build roads, but they use this money to invade their neighbors, to threat uh, all the European countries in the, in, in the world. So we have to stop money flows to Russia. And this was the vision uh, that came up to uh, Nikhil Fodor during the first day. So we formed our, a group of people that started immediately to act. Um, and uh, maybe you, you're not aware, but Twitter is not popular in Ukraine. But uh, we realized that it's pretty much popular in, in the state. So we decided to appeal to to, to the governments, to, to private companies, and specifically to digital ones, because we are, uh, you can find more expertise than digital Ministry of Digital Transformation in Ukraine in terms of working with their tech giants. And so we started to talk to them and showing them this. This is not just because uh, they invaded Ukraine. They possess yeah. threat to the whole Europe today and um, how it works. So we basically uh, trying to establish personal context with their and using and using, of course, the context that we already had before to show the real situation in Ukraine, what's what's going on and, and right. share our vision through email, through phone calls, through social media. And uh, we're doing this on the instant basis, like uh, in, in, in Zoom conversations, in, in email chains, using introductions. Deputy Minister, um, as Tony mentioned earlier, more than 400 businesses have already announced their withdrawal from Russia. So what is your message to businesses and tech companies that are still doing business in or with Russia? Um, our message is that 
those money that you pay to Russian government, they spend to kill civilian people, to fund the war machine, to fund their propaganda machine, and they use this government money not for the good of Russian people. They use it for aggression and create a threat for the whole world for the, this for the for what we have what what we had for last uh, decades like which was a peaceful world where we all, all can live we all can travel and now uh, three million refugees in uh, Europe in in America of course part of them and the, the, you, you can't support this uh, regime with your money even your private yeah. institution yeah you have to aware of their morality of uh, of those actions today it's it's not just it, it's of course it's about ukraine but it's not just about ukraine it's about showing the aggressor that those actions are unacceptable in 21st century you can't just in the middle of europe start invading country with the absurd background of like special military operation and kill thousands of people that's right. just Mr. unacceptable. Yes. Mr. Deputy Minister, uh, we appreciate you walking us through it as the war uh, in physical space continues. You're waging it uh, from an undisclosed location digitally. Uh, we appreciate you spending some time with us this morning. And the American people are with you. The polls here in this country show the American people are with you. That's right, they are. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.